First tonight, with the much-anticipated Sue Gray report into Partygate set to be released any day, pictures have emerged of Boris Johnson appearing to make a toast during a lockdown event at Downing Street. ITV News says that they were taken on the 13th of November 2020 to leaving do for the Prime Minister's then Director of Communications, Lee Kane. Now, at the time, parties with people outside of your household were banned. The PM denied a party took place on that date when he was asked about it in the Commons in December. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Will the Prime Minister tell the House whether there was a party in Downing Street on the 13th of November? Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, no, but I'm sure that in, in whatever happened, uh, the guidance was followed and the rules were followed at all times. A number 10 spokesman tonight said that the Prime Minister will address Parliament in full after Suze Gray's report is published, but some Conservative MPs are calling on him to go now. It's absolutely clear that there was a party, that he attended it, that he was raising a toast, a glass, to one of his colleagues, and therefore he misled the House from the dispatch box. Yeah. And honourably, there is only one answer to that. I think we have to have somebody at the helm that we can really rely on, and whose word we can really rely on. And sadly, I'm afraid that doesn't appear to me to be Mr Johnson. Uh, Roger Gale, who, um, by anybody's account, has been calling for Boris Johnson to go since 2015 before he got elected. Um, I'll start <laughs> this. Um, I get, absolutely, people's frustration and their anger that a man and a government that made the rules have broken them. Do I think he misled Parliament? I don't know. But I'll tell you what I do think. I'll tell you what I do think. I think the British people, with everything that's gone on, are done with this party. I know you disagree with me. I, I couldn't disagree with you more. I know, but it, what is more important, the cost of living no, crisis? the cost of living crisis is very important. The war in Ukraine is very important. There are loads of really important things we need to have done. And this is a government, this is a prime minister, that has spent their time partying instead of doing the job they should have been doing. The, that clip we played from mm. the prime minister, you know, he was asked about this specific event. No, no all guidance, mm. all rules were followed. I agree. Um, no, I'm, well, they weren't, were they? Because there was a party. But... He was at the Party. But he knew the guidance and the rules weren't followed. Everyone talks about guidance and rules. It wasn't guidance. It was the law. Mm. It was lockdown yeah. number two. You remember how? Do you know how I know what we were? And Interesting were not allowed photo. To do? Can I just say, look bottom yeah. left. Who do you think that is? Allegedly, I bet you that's Dominic Cummins. Why has he taken so long to bring this up? My, I'm just saying. My daughter couldn't have a birthday yeah. party that month. All of her friends couldn't have birthday parties. We, you know, we were we were at work in this very building. We're filming this in now. I know what we were and what we know we're not allowed to do because I was in an office every day, like millions of I people. I couldn't see my dad in, in a country. care home. I get yeah, it. But, but, but they were having parties. He can't even remember which party he was at because he went to so many. He lied to us. He lied to Parliament. He brought in laws that he knew were not necessary. I'm sorry. I just think I, that is absolutely yeah, okay. unforgivable. Can I just say one thing, and, and, and everybody will get involved here. I get that, but I'm telling you that the majority of people in this country now do not care as much as the London-centric media think they do. I don't, think, I don't think they do. I don't think that's true. I think there is a really huge amount of people, and a good proportion of yeah. amount of people, who still do care about mm -hmm. this because people remember that their children couldn't have birthday parties or that they couldn't say goodbye to relatives or they couldn't be there in their friends dying moments because it was against the law but boris johnson and his friends and his cronies <coughs> were having parties like Julia said, mm -hmm. and we don't often agree, but like <laughs> Julia said, <laughs> so many parties that they can't remember what ones they went to. There are so many other important things going on in the world. The cost of living crisis. People are facing energy bills of £3,000 come the autumn. Yep. The war in the Ukraine. The way that we should have had the government focus on this and draw a line under this for the government to focus on the business of government and get on with the cost of living crisis and sorting that out was to have Boris Johnson resign. We draw a line Here's under the it thing. and move on. And he Here's hasn't, and he won't. All, all of, listen, I'm not disagreeing with anything you've said, and you can go on and we could sit here for an hour. JJ, he ain't going anywhere. It's a fact. Yeah, he ain't going to go anywhere, but my real concern now is with the Met Police. I think there's yeah. something dodgy going on. They didn't want to investigate him in the first place. They didn't mm -hmm. want to do any of the parties. They weren't going to do anything. Thanks to public pressure, they then investigated. And they gave him one fine. Mm -hmm. But from these pictures, we mm -hmm. can clearly see mm -hmm. he's at another function. So that surely should be a second and, fine. And, and other people, people at that party... ...have been fined. ...have been fined. Yeah, so why... But he wasn't. So why was why, not given at least two fines? Uh, don't you think as well that it's also about the fact that when you're a child and you've done something naughty, <laughs> you find very quickly that the best thing to do is fess up Take your punishment, 
and move on. Then you can and draw say a, sorry. and say sorry, mm -hmm. and then you can draw a line on it, a line under it. And the problem is that all that happens is that when you say people don't care, no, I think they probably have moved on from the party gate aspect of it. But what they haven't moved on yeah. from Agreed. is the fact that it feels wrong and I, and it feels I think, wrong and therefore people don't trust anybody. I get that and I think you're right as well I think there's inconsistency the Durham police are different to the Met police the Met police said they weren't going to do it and then released the one thing about the fines and then said we're not we don't want to get involved in the elections I don't think anybody comes out of it smelling of roses and I'm not sticking up for Boris Johnson but I do think that he is a bit Teflon we've said this before yes. something I mean it sounds a terrible thing to say he'd have been gone if the Ukraine war hadn't happened without any Absolutely. shadow of a doubt that definitely saved him and that's things that I think he's played a blind on the Ukraine well, I'm incredibly mm. proud of what our Prime Minister and our government and our country has done for the people of Ukraine. And, and I think he's... Look, I, I'm, I'm someone who supported and still support Brexit. I'm really, really happy that he was able to deliver that. So I don't come from a perspective where I'm going, oh, well, I hate Boris yeah. Johnson, I can't wait. An awful lot of people calling for him to go. For me, this is an issue... I was a political journalist for many years. And for me, this is an issue about integrity. This is an issue about what kind of politics, what kind of country do we want to live in? And, and yes, we've all accepted all the mistresses and the... Oh, we lied when he was doing jobs journalism or whatever and, and people can put up with a certain amount of that but for me this is lying and I'm sorry I believe he lied on the floor of the House of Commons mm -hmm. he lied saying he didn't know anything yeah. about parties he lied saying he wasn't at parties and, and, and he's saying he was horrified by events he wasn't those were all lies and I'm sorry I really care about the state of our politics in this it's country. not but it's not just that because the trouble is this has wider implications because what happens is that people stop trusting anybody they, stop, they, they don't mm. trust anybody in power because they see what's happening at the top and they say, why should I trust anybody? But actually, you talk about the top. I mean, I don't think politics could be further in the gutter than it is by now at the moment. I mean, I, think, I don't think many people have a good opinion of politics and the worst thing is you look at the, the turnout for the local elections, 30-something percent. That's a normal, that's a normal I know, but if it's replicated because people don't trust them, yes. then we're in trouble, aren't mm. we? Yeah.